Hey folks, Ron here. Didn't know I was going to do a, a vlog today, but they're doing some construction on my home, so I figured good time to get out and, of course, get the dog out and then see you there. And I'm going to do a vlog that I had planned to do. Anyway, today I'm doing it. Close, a few miles away from the vlog I did yesterday, which was uh, Christopher Guest and Jamie Lee Curtis's house. This one is going to be the home of Whoopi Goldberg. Actually, probably that beauty behind me, huh? Actually, it's probably the former home. I believe that she sold the property. Yeah, look at that one behind me. Nice, huh? I believe she sold this property in 2018 to the new owner, but I'm not 100% positive. But I do know it was on title to Karen Johnson, Karen with a C, and that's Whoopi Goldberg's real name Karen Johnson so it's definitely her house like I said full disclosure she might have sold the house um, last year so we will or in 2018 I'm sorry but uh, at any rate she did live there or does live there and it's completely gated so I'm sorry to say we're really not gonna see the house we'll see the top of a large gate and video in progress and all that good stuff but um, you know people want their privacy Look at that one. Nice, huh? Yeah. Come on. How, what are you doing? Dog is obsessed with these landscape guys. And they don't even have a leaf blower. What's your problem? Okay. So. Karen Johnson, otherwise known as Whoopi Goldberg, was born in Manhattan in 1955. Her father was a Baptist clergyman. Her mother was a nurse and a teacher. Um, I don't know when the parents split up or it's been around here when the parents split up or if they were ever together as a couple but she was but Whoopi was go, raised as a, a single mother single mother single child say her mother she consider her mother a single mother let's put it that way she has siblings as well also say while I'm on it that that she said that she got the name Whoopi from a whoopee cushion. The people were saying, you're like a whoopee cushion. Whoop. You know, we don't know. That's what she says. And so she said she adapted that name, adopted that name. And then the Goldberg name was she felt there was some Jewish blood in her or she understood Jewish people or, and her mother said, you have to have a Jewish name to be successful in the show business or all of the above. Who knows? But that's where she said she got the name Whoopi Goldberg from. So in the 70s, Oh, she went to a Catholic school. She dropped out of high school. She, in the 70s, she went to California. Berkeley specifically, she joined an avant-garde theater group. She taught acting. She taught, taught comedy and comedy acting, regular acting. Um, now, in 1978, there was kind of an interesting incident that she witnessed a mid-air collision, two aircraft in San Diego. And because of that, she developed a fear of flying and, and flying and PTSD must really affect you when you have to travel from coast to coast so much in acting jobs. Uh, anyway, by 1983, she was doing a one-woman show, and her soon-to-be mentor, director Mike Nichols, came to see it, thought she was wonderful, and he helped her get the show to Broadway. Once the show was in Broadway, they did a, they taped a, um, they taped a performance and gave it to HBO, and that's what Steven Spielberg saw. And from that, he cast her in The Color Purple. So it's really fortuitous being in that show and having Mike Nichols see her, obviously. One thing leads to another. And she was giving rave reviews for The Color, Color Purple. I know that was the first time I had seen her and, and, and had heard of her. Um, and I'm not going to talk about, you know, the whole rest of her career because we know it's very storied. We know that she's been with the show The View since 2007 she replaced rosie o'donnell um she is an activist well she calls herself an activist she's very involved in the lgbt community and obviously of course civil rights and issues um she's been married and divorced three times and she says she's probably not going to get married again but some people are meant for marriage some people are not and uh, she had a you know a famous relationship with Ted Danson. She 
uh, also has a child and she has grandchildren and great grandchildren. So in a minute, we're going to be over at Whoopi Goldberg's house and I'll meet you back there in a second. We'll take it from there. Oh, I do have one story about Whoopi Goldberg. One time I was, um, well, I worked in Beverly Hills for about 15 years. And one time I left work, I heard of a benefit show going on at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Paul McCartney was going to close it out by playing Let It Be on piano. It was fantastic. I didn't see it, but you could hear it. Anyway, um, although I've seen McCartney live before anyway, but there were a lot of celebrities at this particular show. I don't remember what the cause was. I saw Larry King, Pete Townsend of The Who, and there was a little area outside where people were gathering to smoke and cigarettes. And Leah Thompson was there standing with Whoopi Goldberg and they were talking and I was just right there. Probably thought I was, I don't know who they thought I was. Um, well, Leah Thompson, I remember asked Whoopi if she had done the vagina monologues, which is a popular play here in LA for a number of years. Coming up to the house now. Now, unfortunately, all we're gonna see is this gate. But that's okay. And the gate's open today, or right now. I don't know why partially open. So what can we see? That's about it. We don't wanna get too close. So we do have cameras. Oh, somebody left a box there, and I guess they left, I guess while leaving the box, they left the gate open. That's weird. Or it was the wind. Kind of windy today. All right, let's go. This is still the house with this humongous hedge. There's a beautiful house across the street. I am going to get off this hedge in a second, don't worry. Like, let's cross the street. Again, I must comment, as I always do, because you know I always do. By the way, can you see the ocean at the end of the street? Probably not, huh? Quiet, beautiful street north of Sunset. Millionaire Row. Yet a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic on a residential street. And not just, um, not just landscape guys, you know, but just traffic. I don't know who the people are. I guess the moral of the story is, oh, here's Whoopi Goldberg's trash cans that were just taken. Or former Whoopi Goldberg trash cans. I guess the moral of the story is that no matter where you live in Los Angeles, there's always traffic. I know it, but like I said, even here in a residential neighborhood where you wouldn't expect much action to be going on in the, you know, in the middle of a weekday. All right, let's get another look at the gate. The other gate, I should say. Now that's a hell of a gate, huh? 24 hour video surveillance. I'd say that's a 20 foot wall or gate. And all we can really see is just the top of the property. That's about all we can see. I'm sorry, folks. I really wish we could see more. Now here's a little bit. You see a little bit of that there? A little bit of the house there in my head. Yeah, we really can't can't see much. I'm gonna see if this is the same address. No, this is a different address, so this is a different home here. So that was it. All right, folks. I always feel like I should apologize that I can't show you more of the home, but I had nothing to do with it. They're celebrities, some of these people. They want their privacy. Let's give them a break. All right. I'm gonna call it there, folks. So I'll just say thank you again for watching, listening. I really appreciate you, here comes the trash truck. Uh, by the way, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, oh boy, here we go again. Yesterday was my trash day. If you do subscribe, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications as to when I post. And I'll please give me likes. That's probably the most important thing besides subscribing because with likes comes traction on the channel. And... Uh, I love getting 10 new subscribers a day, but I'd like to get 20 a day. Okay, folks, really appreciate it. We'll see you at the next location. This is Ron, over and out.